up, we are going to do autograph of the day real quick. Got a pretty fun one for you today, actually. Uh, if you don't mind, I am going to go ahead and move to that. A few years back, or you know what, I'll start by saying this. You know, I always tell you guys that if you want autographs, if you want to meet players, if you want to, you know, get a, get an up close and personal look at players and talk to them and really have an interaction with them, go to spring training. My first trip to spring training was a few years ago. Uh, we we kind of toured the whole spring training site. The way it is in Florida is you got Lakeland, that's where the Tigers are. You got Dunedin, that's where the Blue Jays are. The Pirates is somewhere in between that. The Phillies is somewhere up there. They're all around the same area. The Braves are a lot further down. Uh, last year, you know, they moved to Cool Today, but they were at Disney, and they're still a good distance away. But my first trip was actually with the Tigers. I went with the Tigers. I actually went with a family of Willie Horton. Uh, Willie Horton, if you don't know who that is, you're missing out. Willie Horton, uh, his number is retired by the Detroit Tigers. And uh, he's 23, he's got a statue at the park. He's not in the Hall of Fame, but there's a story behind that too. Go look up Willie Horton if uh, if you want to. But, uh, you know, I, I think that... Um, you should. But yeah, Willie Horton, his family invited me to go with a group of soldiers that uh, ended up going to spring training. And you guys all know who's on the Tigers. There's a very Hall of Fame level player on the Tigers right now. And I had it in my mind that I really wanted to meet said Hall of Famer. That guy's Miguel Cabrera. And I took this down there. Okay. I met Miguel Cabrera. There's a package you can buy. I actually got to do this for free. It was really cool. Can't underestimate how cool this was. Uh, this particular year, Miguel Cabrera walked up to my section and just started signing autographs. And of course, there was uh, you know there was kids out there, and I let them go first because that's what you do. But uh, it's rule number one when you're chasing autographs. But uh, I had this, and Miguel Cabrera here. I'll get it up close. Miguel Cabrera actually. Saw this. I pulled it out. It's obviously full size. I pulled it out, and uh, he goes, "Ooh!" Because like, he doesn't get to do this very often. I would think you know, this is a pretty premier piece. I bought it, spent good money on it, and uh, got it signed. It's obviously signed uh, triple crown. I don't know if you guys can see it. Triple crown 2012. So the next year, after I had such a good year the first year, I took another piece uh, that I bought on the internet. I took another piece down there and I got this. Okay, it's got a World Series patch, 2012. His name's on the back, of course, and it is also signed right there. So that'll be framed one of these days when I have a little bit more space. But that's just something that I know you guys have never seen before. It's obviously not behind you. And, uh, you know, that's uh, obviously some of my favorite pieces. He is on a ball up there somewhere. Uh, but I didn't bring that one down. But uh, he actually signed a really cool piece also uh, for the soldiers that I went with. He signed a bat for him, you know, Miguel Cabrera. Game used, I believe. At least game issued. But it was really cool, and it was just a very good experience. I met Jack Morris. I met Ron Gardenhire. I actually interviewed Ron Gardenhire uh, that second year, and he was more than more than kind. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but when he retired and he elected to retire, I did a pretty nice piece on him, uh, and that was because he – was very nice to me. Uh, but, you know, look, I recommend going to spring training. I really recommend going to Joker Merchant Stadium. Those guys for the Tigers are really good there. They're very fan-friendly. And, uh, you know, that's a Triple Crown winner. And I got that piece, and it'll be on my wall one day, and the shelf's hanging on my shelf right now, or the helmet's on my shelf right now. So it's one of my favorite pieces. I thought I'd share it with you. And, of course, this is all a part of a new segment I am doing here, Autograph of the Day. And, uh, of course, we'll do these every live broadcast. Those live broadcasts are Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Make sure you tune in. I try to have as much content as I can, talk to you guys as much as I can, and really bring in some solid content. But, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. One more time, don't forget to go check out Lorandi Gloves. Again, Premier Gloves, 18 different colors you can choose from. Go customize your own glove if you want to. Find something for Christmas early on this year. Go do it. If you got a birthday coming up, you got a baseball player. That's, frankly, baseball season is just around the corner. Little League is just around the corner. I wish I had one of these gloves when I played. 
My glove was as basic as they come. My Randy gloves would have fixed that. Of course, that didn't end up getting to happen, but 